As an Aboriginal person, today for me, I really like to look back and look at our achievements while ac acknowledging the, I guess, the atrocities that have passed. It's a good chance to, to be able to educate the broader community on Australia's real history. So in the lead up today, I've had many conversations with friends, family and work colleagues about the meaning of today for Aboriginal people. And it's quite surprising how many people aren't actually aware of the true history of Australia. Um, even when they say they've gone to school and they're like, oh, well, I remember learning about colonisation at school, but I didn't remember hearing anything about that. And they don't. And I think it's quite important, particularly for reconciliation and moving forward, that the true history is taught in our schools. Yes, it's bad, um, but that's a way of moving forward if everyone is aware of our history. It's their history too. They probably should change the date. I was told the other day by a non-Indigenous man that he believes it should be changed because it was actually January 1st, 1901 that they actually became a country in Australia and that perhaps that should be the date that they truly celebrate Australia Day. So this day is quite significant for us. Um, it is a day of mourning and we have a strong connection to it. <laughs> because it's, it should be a day of mourning for us and um, I think it's about informing mainstream about you know what it really is about. Australia Day is not our day because we were Australian by force yep. yes and um, basically it's a process or the end of rec recognition for our people. I just think of it as a situation like September 11. The world stops and they mourn September 11 as the day of when all those innocent lives were lost. And um, for us, that's what this day represents for us. It represents a day that all of our people were, um, were killed. Those innocent lives were lost on this date. So for us, it's a day of mourning and re remembrance. Um, and that's what it represents for us. So we come together and we march peacefully in remembrance of all those lives that were lost. This is a day we're invited. We don't celebrate this as Australia Day. We were invited this day. So therefore it should be moved some, to some other date. Uh, my thoughts is it's just an accident that a British naval bloke arrived here and as far as I'm concerned, scrap the day and have it some other day. I don't think they should change the date of Australia Day. I think it'd be nice to, um, I guess, celebrate Australia as a whole, but to recognise the First Nation people, which is Aboriginal people here, um, of all the land of Australia, uh, but I'd also like to throw in a day before um, that invasion happened, that they celebrate the cultural ways a day before that. Um, so we were living that, that wonderful life before, so we had a day for celebration around culture the day before, then obviously bringing the Australia Day where it captures um, Australia as a whole, but recognising the First Nation people on that day. It's really good. Yeah. I totally agree with brothers just said, and it's sad that we get a, you know, on this day is really hurtful. I just think they should change it, either look to change their days and let us have our morning. Uh, basically, it's not including 100% of the, the population, it's excluding 2% of the population and the original population in Australia. Um, to me, it's a, just a giant insult. Um, any other day? Fine. Sweet. That's about all I've got to say about it. I guess the fact that we do celebrate this day in the way that we do as a majority is quite disgusting. Um, if we are going to keep this day recognised for what it actually is, it's, it's not a party. People lost their lives, people have had their families ruined, still ruined, still torn apart. So yeah, I, I totally think we should either change the meaning or change the day, for sure. I'm just an average, average man uh, here in Australia, like everybody else. Uh, but I am becoming quite educated on uh, on the fact that Australia Day is um, is not what it seems. I've listened to the Aboriginal people, and they they have brought to my attention uh, what what they've, what they've gone through: the invasion, the genocide, the rape, the poison. And this is really really big. A lot of Australians are not acknowledging these mistakes. Um, the government has misled Australians to believe lies and lies and lies. Um, 
we need we need to change. We need to have Australia acknowledge the uh, the mistakes, and we need to rethink completely um, about this day, and we need to stop uh, um, embracing the the uh, these mistakes. We need to change. We can do that.